What's up everyone? This is Mr. Fresh. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can use a Yagi directional antenna in combination with an alpha external Wi-Fi adapter to potentially hunt down and locate Wi-Fi signals. You can hide no longer. You now have the world looking directly at you. Hot roll, red roll, engaged. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is show you a few things that I was looking at over here in my Firefox web browser, just trying to get a better understanding of how this works and more importantly to um, be able to use the correct terminology so as to better explain it. And was looking at uh, this page right here, which is unicomradio.com and reading about Yagi antennas because I just recently purchased a Yagi antenna and that's what I'm going to be using in this video. So you can get a little bit more information about this and the advantages of using Yagi antennas and why you would use them. I'm not going to cover all of this, but uh, another page that I was looking at. So if you were to go over to Amazon and plug in Yagi directional antenna, this is something that you might get uh, in return. So this is kind of like the one that I have and you can see what it looks like here. This is a 2.4 gigahertz directional Yagi antenna. And um, if I scroll through some of these pictures, we'll get a couple different views of it. But the main thing that I want to emphasize is the differences between the other antennas that I've been using in other videos and this antenna right here. So if we come down here to the uh, product description, it's a high gain antenna, but it is a directional antenna. Uh, they refer to it here as a linear vertical as far as polarization, but the easiest way that I can explain this and hopefully do this some type of justice is that this antenna is going to be better suited if you are pointing it at the uh, Wi-Fi access point or the signal that you are trying to get. And that is in strike contrast to, say, this right here, which this, this antenna right here, this is, um, this is what you would call an omnidirectional antenna. So you don't know where the access point is. And this antenna right here is going to basically kind of radiate the same signal strength all the way around the antenna, 360 degrees around the antenna. So that, that's kind of the main difference that I want to highlight here. So you, you have uh, this type of antenna right here, which is referred to as a dipole antenna. And then we have this type of antenna, which is a quote unquote directional antenna that you can point at something. This would be perfect for say you have a, a place that's maybe half a mile or a mile down the street and you have a visible line of sight to it and they offer free Wi-Fi and if you can point this at that location you could potentially get the free Wi-Fi but you'd have to have a visible line of sight. Now what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a few interesting things that I was uh, basically discovering as I was kind of testing both of these, comparing them with one another. Now to save time, um, I already have my external alpha Wi-Fi adapter plugged in and starting this off, um, I'll pull this back up. So starting this off, this is what I have plugged in. I have this adapter right here. It's an alpha. Uh, AWUS036ACHM antenna. It has it has one antenna coming up out of it, and I have this antenna plugged in to it at the moment. And when I do the second part of this, it will still be this same adapter. We're still using the same adapter in all these tests. But the only difference is I'm going to swap out this omnidirectional antenna for this Yagi directional antenna okay so hopefully that makes sense all right so let's go back to the command line to save time i've already put the alpha external wi-fi adapter into monitor mode and 
we can go ahead and start this off by just doing a very simple, very basic scan. I'm not going to do this on any particular channel, so we are actually going to just let it scan the air around us and channel hop uh, through all of the 2.4 gigahertz uh, channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. And off camera, uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to start up a hotspot on one of my many phones. And I'm gonna place this phone at a particular location in the room that I am in. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and first figure out uh, what channel that the, wife, that the um, uh, hotspot is broadcasting on. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I've enabled the hotspot and I can already see that it has popped up here on the screen. So I'm going to just do control C to stop my scan. And the name of, oops, I'm in the wrong window. Control C, there we go. So the name of the Wi-Fi hotspot that I'm using is uh, right here. It's, it's uh, under surveillance. And we can see that it is broadcasting on channel six. So now that we know which channel it's broadcasting on, I am going to rerun the scan, and now we are only going to scan on channel six, okay? And um, I will hit return. While we have this scan running, scanning only on channel six, in my lower pane here, I am actually going to start Wireshark, and I will need to do that with pseudo privileges. So. I'll run sudo wireshark and hit enter and this is the name of the interface that i'm using for the alpha wi-fi adapter so i'm going to click on that and open that up and after letting this run for 30 seconds or so i'm going to stop the capture and i'm looking specifically for that hotspot that was broadcasting the name of under surveillance and i can see it right here so i'll go ahead and click on that now in the lower left uh, portion of my screen in this in this little window pane right here I'm gonna expand the the IEEE 802.11 beacon frame and I'm looking for the transmitter address which is right here so I'll click on the transmitter address right click and I'm looking for apply as filter and select it so now it's gonna apply that as a filter and you can see right up here that we now have that filter applied. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna to start to capture again, but this is only gonna be looking at my hotspot that's broadcasting, which is under surveillance. So let me go ahead and restart the capture, continue without saving. Now we are only seeing packets for the, the phone that is broadcasting the, the hotspot. And one of the really neat things that I recently discovered with Wireshark that you can do is um, you can go up here to statistics and I can open up this IO graph. And now essentially what I'm able to see is a graph that amongst other things can show me a signal strength. And um, at this point, this is where I want to change from my omnidirectional antenna and I want to actually uh, plug in my my Yagi directional antenna so I'm gonna do that real quick okay so I plugged in the uh, Yagi directional antenna and now basically what I want to do here is I want to try to actually track I want to locate and track down where the signal is coming from 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 the hotspot so to do that basically gonna very slowly move the antenna in a 360 degree circle and I'm gonna do this pretty slowly. So in real time, this would probably take a couple minutes if I speed this up in the video. Um, but what I'm looking for is I want to basically look at this graph and I want to see a very clear and defined spike such as the one that is popping up on the screen right here. And the whole methodology behind this is that if you just continue to move this in a circle very slowly and then 
look at the, the graph, you can potentially identify the direction that the uh, signal is coming from once you have landed on you know, the, the path with your uh, directional antenna. So we're going to just kind of let this uh, slowly move its way towards the, um, uh, the mobile hotspot that I have up and running. And in the background, you can still see that you know, the only thing that I'm actually scanning, the only thing that I'm filtering for is the mobile hotspot that I'm broadcasting. So I want to make sure that I emphasize that lest I have anybody making false accusations against me. So this is my mobile hotspot. Once again, it is called Under Surveillance very aptly named. And I'm just going to let this run and then we're going to check back on the uh, graph here in a second. Okay, so I've let this run for maybe a few minutes now and I feel pretty confident looking at the results. If we look at this graph over here on the left side, you can just see that it's pretty, uh, it's, it's, it's somewhat, for lack of a better word, it's, um, you know, it has, a, it has a, a plateau to it. It's basically kind of oscillating in the same general area. But now you can see over here, we see these very, very high spikes going all the way near the top. And this is because I actually have the Yagi directional antenna pointed directly at my mobile hotspot. So this makes sense. And to me, this is validation that this actually does, this does work. So obviously for me, you know, I already know where it, where the hotspot is because um, you know I've, I'm the one who created it and I, I can see it it's in a direct line of sight but the same concept would obviously apply so say you have for example um, I don't know you have a, a, a neighbor who is utterly convinced that you're some malicious black hat hacker and you're gonna hack into their Wi-Fi and you know you've told them that's not what you do but they just they won't believe you you know and they spring up some honeypot access point and they call it I don't know, you won't get hacked here, and they try to bait you into hacking into their Wi-Fi. And, you know, you laugh it off, but then one day you say, well, I want to know who, you know, I want to know which one of my, you know, uh, neighbors did this to me, and who, who put up this fake access point actually thinking that I was, you know, a, a bad actor. And this would be a wonderful way of, of basically figuring that out. You know, that's obviously one of many uses for this, and um, I'm pretty happy with the results. So... We're going to definitely be doing quite a few videos and testing out the different capabilities of these different antennas. It should be interesting. And as always, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like the video and the videos. And for all my friends, my foes, all my haters. Hey, man. Stay fresh. See you in the next one.